East Ukrainian city of Donetsk, local officials claim three civilians were killed there in overnight shelling. And that's despite the Defence Ministry declaring a so-called period of silence there on Tuesday. The city's seen almost daily violations of the shaky truce. RT's Maria Vinoshina is in the conflict zone. The battle for control of Donetsk airport has turned this area into an active front line. We opened the windows to hear, to hear the shells. Just hours before, one shell landed here. We see several checkpoints, all now abandoned, just like this area, or so we thought, before a figure crossed the road. We ask Vitaly who he thinks was responsible. I think the shelling came from Avdeevka, where the Ukrainian army is. It was a Grad missile, which has to be launched from a distance. The Grad multiple rocket launcher is not known for its pinpoint accuracy. Vitaly believes that the military wanted to hit anti-government positions half a kilometre away. We went to see for ourselves where the self-defence fighters had been. They have been occupying this nine-storey building for, for weeks. As you can see, it's very much destroyed. The damage is immense, and the shelling brought casualties too. But we heard there was at least one person left here. We saw ghost towns, but this is like ghost building. 77-year-old Nadezhda... Здравствуйте. <laughs> And he invites us to her apartment, apologizing for the chaos. Nadezhda has had a life of hardships, and it continues still. One person still looks out for Nadezhda. Vladimir lives two stories down. Here you can see a shell. Vladimir's flat is full of toys. This is for his daughter and icons. He says he gathers up all of those he finds among the rubble in the area. We hear the sound of a tank and run to check. It's the same stuff all the time. The military is at the airport and shells the city. We're trying to get out. They told us the tank we heard was carrying injured people back from the front line. And they're provided with cover. This is a bizarre status quo lasting for many days already. And there is no sign anyone is about to win. They told us just to, to hide here for some time, well, until they finish. Now they say, let's go, because there they will be a response. There could be a response, so let's go. And we didn't wait for that response. We meet Vladimir downstairs again. This is nothing unusual, just don't worry. Thank you for supporting. He's trying to support me. We use a moment of silence when they reload weapons to head off, leaving behind a shattered building and its handful of residents who have no plans to leave. Marifnoshnati, Indonesia, Eastern Ukraine.